All right, today is going to make a little video of an explanation of the difference in the uh, bearings we're promoting now. We call it the heavy duty bearing, and just a description of, of it and why it's better than the old. Okay, this is a uh, back half of a primary of a Razor 800, and this is a spacer, and then here's, here's the bearing. If you read the tech article, you know uh, why the bearing was changed, or my opinion of why the bearing was changed, okay? So here's the present way of doing it. This is, so if you open up your 800 primary clutch, this is what you got, this bearing and this wide spacer. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off. There's a little washer right there. Leave it, and now there's a washer down here. Here's the new bearing. And then put your little spacer back, or washer, whatever you wanna call it and in our new spacer. So, as you can see, putting the old bearing up against the new bearing, it's not quite twice as, as wide, but it's, you know, almost twice as wide and, and a lot more surface area. All right, so there's a, there's a visual of, of what we're replacing it with. All right. This bearing came off of a, a 800 primary I'd have to go look at the miles, but it's it's not that many. Uh, and it may be hard to tell, but maybe you can look inside with a light. It's probably very hard to look, uh, of course. But this is the USA made bearing. This is one I believe is made over China. But what I can tell you, and again, I just can't see it in the camera, but the seals, the way the seals are made. Uh, this has a metal protector on each end. It's a double wiper seal. And the inside of this one, I text my friend that this belongs to us it's a good thing that I was doing this because this bearing is dry it's getting dry and it's got dirt up in it because of these seals are not quality you you may or may not you probably cannot look because there's just not enough light but that is a single wiper seal compared to and again you just can't see it for this double wiper so you tell me what bearing would you rather have the old style USA made bearing or the new one. Uh, like I said, one more time, just for fitment purposes, we're gonna put the old bearing, old bearing on, a little washer, and the old spacer. And you can see the height of it. We figured out the new spacer, there's several of these, we've got the correct height, so that when we take all this off, and put our new bearing on, and a washer and our new spacer, the height is identical. And so this is just a, a video explanation of why we're going. And you can even see on this clutch, like I said, it's not that old in the black that's in here. Um, that's belt dust and all. So I'm gonna be cleaning this one up and get him the new heavy duty bearing for this. So anyway, that's this is just ex explanation video. And I'm just going to go out there and uh, we'll do a install video. Got any questions on this? Read the tech article, give me a call, and I'd be glad to help you figure it out.